It's Make It Monday, and I'm your host, Selena, the Glass Lady. So let's get started. Today's craft, Mr. and Mrs. Ceramic Coasters. Here's what you'll need to begin. When you have your paint on your palette here, what we're going to do is you're going to apply a generous amount of white paint to your paintbrush. And when you come over to your tile, generally the tile is cream colored. And what we want, we want to cover it completely white. Now, I like two coats, and I also like the effect of the, the strokes of the brush on the tile. So, I think it gives it a great homemade effect, because nothing says, um, I love you, more than you basically creating something yourself. You took the time out to do it. And I think it'll be more it'll be more appreciated. So um, we have that done. See, all white and very very pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna give it a nice jet black edge. All right. All right. It's not quite dry, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and apply a very small amount of black to your paintbrush just the edge look at there let me see if I can focus that just a little bit of black because we don't want to be too generous with the black because we're just doing the borders the edges so when you get to your when you get to your tile we want to gently brush a small amount of black around the edges and fret not if the white gets involved with with your black paint because black dominates everything so and that's what we're doing we're gently going around the entire tile to give it a border a black border okay so, see how pretty that's coming out? It's coming out really pretty. So, when you do this, it's going to be a wonderful gift to a mother and father, who your mom and dad who just got married, or your brother and your brother or your sister, because this will be a great addition to any living room. So, we're going to go ahead and finish that. As I said, don't worry yourself if the white gets involved with the black. Because, as I said earlier, black dominates everything. So, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. Okay. Now, see how pretty that looks? That looks very pretty. So... Now that that's done, we're going to give it some time and it's going to look fantastic when it is done. So while that's drying, we're going to get our stencils together and that you can get these stencils from Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Um, they're they're $1.99, $2. You can do that. Okay. All right. So let's just take a break and let this beautiful black and white tile dry. For those of you who have glass tables in your living room or in your den or anywhere in your home, you will appreciate this tremendously. This is foam construction paper. What we're going to do is, or what you're going to do, is you're going to take your tile and place it on the construction paper like so. And then what you'll do is you will take a pen or a marker and outline it. 
okay and then you cut around it and we're going to take our E6000 and we're going to glue it to the bottom of the tile why because it's tile and it will scratch your dining room glass table and we don't want that now do we so like I said draw a line around your tile and then cut it out and E6000 the back of that foam construction paper to the back of this tile you'll love me for it <laughs> See the difference? Smooth. Difficult. I don't like to say hard. I like to say difficult. This is very difficult on glass. But this is fantastic on glass. See? Told you you'd love me for it. Now that everything is dry and everything is complete, I want to introduce you guys to the stencils. You can purchase your stencils from Joann's, Hobby Lobby, or Michael's. The prices range from $1.99 to $6.99. Now that everything is dry and complete, you're going to take your Maj Podge, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to seal this thing up. And what this does, it makes it waterproof and it gives it a fantastic shine. And yes, be very generous with it. You're going to let this dry um, overnight. So... You're going to let this dry overnight, and it'll be a wonderful addition to anyone's living room or den. Wow, that was easy. See you next Monday for our next Make It Monday. I'm the Glass Lady. See you later.